Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel Learn with Gizla. In this video of mensuration, we shall take up a question related to surface area and volume of a cylinder. Now before we begin with the question, let us first revise the formula of cylinder. Curved surface area of cylinder, as we know it is circumference of the base into height. So it is 2 pi r h and total surface area of the cylinder is the sum of the area of the two circular bases that is the top and the bottom plus the curved surface area. So we can write the formula is 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r h. Now for the volume of a cylinder is area of the base into height. Since the base is circular, so we can say the formula is pi r square into h. Now let's start with the question. The cost of polishing the total surface of a closed cylindrical oil tank at 25 pesa per decimeter square is rupees 77. Its height is three times that of a radius of its base. Determine the radius of the base and height. Also find the capacity of the cylindrical tank in liters. Now let's see what is given to us. First of all, rate of polishing which is equal to 25 pesa per decimeter square. Now we can convert pesa into rupees. We can divide by 100. So we'll get 0 0.25 per decimeter square. Now total cost of polishing is given rupees 77. Height is three times that of radius. We have to find the radius and the height of the tank and the capacity of the cylindrical tank in liters. Now let's start with the solution. The cost of polishing the oil tank is equal to rupees 77. Rate of polishing we have already converted into rupees. So we will say 0 0.25 rupees per decimeter square. Now we know that the rate into the total surface area of the cylinder is equal to the total cost of polishing. So if we have to find the total surface area, we just have to divide the cost of polishing by rate of polishing. So we will write 77 divided by 0 0.25 which is equal to 308 decimeter square. So this is the total surface area which we have got. Now a height is equal to 3 times of the radius. So we can say height is equal to 3R. Now total surface area is 308 decimeter square and we know that the formula of total surface area is 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r square which is equal to 308 decimeter square. Now we can take 2 pi r common and we can write in bracket h plus r which is equal to 308 decimeter. Now further we can write 2 pi r in bracket 3 r plus r is equal to 308. We have just substituted the height with 3 r. Now further 3 r plus r is 4 r. So we will write 2 into 22 by 7 into r into 4 r is equal to 308. Now r into r is r square and 2 into 4 is 8. So we shall write further 8 into 22 by 7 into r square is equal to 308 decimeter square. Now we shall cross multiply and find r square. So r square is equal to 308 into 7 upon 22 into 8 which is equal to 49 upon 4 decimeter square. So r is root of 49 by 4 that is 7 by 2 decimeter which is equal to 3.5 decimeter. Now we know that the height is equal to 3 times of the radius. So we can say 3 into 7 by 2 decimeter which is equal to 10.5 decimeter. So this way we have calculated the radius 3.5 decimeter and height is equal to 10.5 decimeter. Now we have to calculate the capacity of the cylindrical tank which is also called volume of cylinder which is given by formula pi r square h. Now we know the radius and we know the height. We shall just substitute the values. We will write 22 by 7 into 3.5 square into 10.5. Further 3.5 square is 12.25. So we shall write 22 by 7 into 12.25 into 10.5 which is equal to 404.25 decimeter cube. Now this is the volume which we have got which uh, we have to convert into liters to get the capacity. So we know that 1 meter cube is equal to 1000 liters and 1 meter cube is also equal to 1000 decimeter cube. So 
basically 1000 decimeter cube is equal to 1000 liters that means 1 decimeter cube is equal to 1 liter that means they are exactly same uh, 404.25 decimeter cube is exactly equal to 404.25 liters so this is the capacity of the tank which is 404.25 liters hope you have understood this question please don't forget to like and subscribe thank you everyone